Hi guys, I'm Linny. This is Candy Golf Creations, a place for me to come and share all my randomness. It really is randomness. I'm Linny. I'm th I'm 30 for another two months. I live in Cornwall, in the UK, with my partner and our three boys. Because I'm a boy mum, which kind of makes everything crazy for me. And I crochet and knit. And apparently today I'm really into vintage. So. <laughs> I look like I'm a little unicorn. A little random tie sticking out. Right. I'm not editing, I'm not starting again. This is the fifth time I've started this today. It's one of those days where it's just not going right. I've got a feeling I've lost something, but I haven't. Right. I have a few things to show you that I've made. I don't know when the last time I spoke to you. I don't know if it was last week or the week before. I think it was the week before. But I have made some things this week. I have no active whips other than like scrap blankets, but I'm not going to show you those constantly. But, so I've got, oh no, I've got one that kind of is a whip, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Right, I made a hat. This hat looks huge. This fits my three year old. So either my three year old has an extremely large head, I'm going to put a pom on this because I love pom poms, and it is quite slouchy, it's a little elfish on him but I think my three-year-old must have a really big head because this fits him perfectly and I dropped it oh it's gonna be a fun day today right so that's my first I need to start making these I want to do some craft fairs this year and hats I like for craft fairs I mean I live in England so it rains 90% of the time right so that's the first one. Second one also a hat an itty bitty one I had like this is just a leftover bit but I thought it was too big to put in one of my scrap projects this is from Poundland not Poundland Pound World and it's just their baby yarn and it's just a little puff stitch and then a front post back post ribbing and apparently my hair gets in everything and because my hair's bright blue right now although you can't really see how bright it is you can really see it when it's in stuff which is great it's easy to get out then but I thought this was really pretty and I actually quite like the way that it's like striped but I think that's the nature of this stitch is that it uses quite a lot on each round but I actually thought this was quite cute I was going to put it on my head model but I don't want to go downstairs and get it and it needs cleaning I thought that was sweet and prepping I've made I actually have six of these but I only have two they look really crude what's the odds that this is going to end up being the um little picture at the start right <laughs> they're ice pole holders they're cotton and then obviously ice poles go in oh it's the start of a glove these do fit, these fit like those jumbo pops, like the ones that have that curve in in the middle. <laughs> I actually have six of these, but I think the boys have run off with the rest of them, so I only have two to show you. Um, it's just, i done a magic circle, and then I think i done maybe one set of increases. And it's all UK double, or uh, that's US single crochets. Just around in a circle until I thought it was long enough. And I've made it, like, long enough. I've got really big hands, like, ridiculously big. And it's as big as my hand, like, palm-wise. So, obviously, it's going to be big enough for a little one's hand. It's kind of human's hands, so I'm meant to be tiny, you know. So, there's two of those. There is more of those somewhere. Right, I've got one and a half more crochet things to show you. Sorry, Russell. This is a gift. We're going to a birthday party tomorrow. How stinking cute is he? Like, he is adorable. I am just looking down there because I thought, ah, there it is. It's from this book. This is the first ever crochet book that I had. Shamefully, I've only done like, possibly, I think he's the third or fourth thing out of here that I've made. But isn't he sweet? He's meant to be this guy. He is adorable and I've done the tail a bit differently because I don't follow patterns 
And the tail on that one, see if I can find him without there being pattern. It right, looks like that. So it's like a solid, like shaped tail. I didn't want to do that. By the time I got to his tail, I was done with him. So I just put some yarn through and then I um, used a, I call them cat brushes, but I think they're stickler brushes. And like just, like making hair, like I threaded some through the like end chainy bits and then just brushed it and it goes like this. And this is just acrylic and acrylic does this when it's brushed and it actually looks like hair. But it's really sweet. It's a really interesting construction because you make these spikes first and then you make the back of his head and then the rest of it's, it's body and head's one piece. And then arms and legs, tail, little muzzly thing. And I've just noticed I've got a stray end there that I'll tuck in in a minute. And then ears. But he is the cutest thing ever. If any of you are into anime, I know Sean from Sean's Crafty Corner is into anime. Do you not think he looks like Con from Bleach? Like, please don't, like... I think he looks like Con from Bleach. Maybe like in the first season before he gets a bit bad. Or put in a dress. Oh, dropped him. Right. The half a crochet thing. So I want to do craft fair fairs. And I know that there's one at the school. And I want to do more like... Sorry, how am I? Eye? Like pocket money things as well. So I thought about making key rings. This is my base. So it's just a crochet ball, but I turn them into emoji. I'll just put little like face details on. But I can make a bunch of these because these like get made in no time at all. And I do have keeping things. I'm just being really lazy and not doing it. And then just put different faces on. And I could just do a little box of them with like pocket money prices. Sorry, my sorry it gets really irritating my eyeball. And it's possibly my hair. It's probably probably an eyelash because eyelashes are there to protect your eyes. Yeah, the one thing that's always in my eye is an eyelash. Right. So it runs over. Eyeball's still itchy. Probably makeup everywhere now as well. So it's a fun look. Right. The next thing I want to show you is these. How cute are these? Right, they're not socks, they're bookmark. Um, Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears has released this free pattern. Um, it's called a bookmark for Dobby. Like, I am ha so Harry Potter obsessed. It is, look, I am Harry Potter obsessed and Alice Wonderland and Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> Sorry. Really random today. Um, but aren't you sweet? But also... So I actually learnt to knit because I wanted to knit socks. This pattern is amazing. It's a really simple pattern and she's got like different variations. I've just done like vanilla ones. So there's no like patterning on the actual yeah, um, sock at all. But I now understand how to make socks. Like, socks, sock construction, well, top-down sock construction now makes sense in my brain. And, like, the heel turn and gusset now makes sense in my brain. So it's a really good pattern. It's on Ravelry. It's completely free. I'll link it down below. But it's amazing. And the Bakery Bears, who Kay Jones is half of, are actually doing a make-along, crochet-along, crochet along, knit along make along <laughs> that's um summer of sorcery so if anyone's interested in that go and look and their podcast oh, it's amazing it's not ju not just knitting 
I mean, I watched last week's today, and they made meringue like it's like a meringue roulade. Awesome, amazing. That is all I have to show you. So this is going to be a short video. Um, what was I going to say? So I said I wanted to make, I wanted to do craft fairs. What if you go to a craft fair? What would you like to see? Because Oh, sorry, I'm moving earthquake. The last craft fair I done was two years ago, and it was at the start of December, so it was all I sold 10 15 hats and scarves. And although I want to do hats and scarves because this one's going to be before the summer holidays, and obviously, when they come back after summer, it's September and it's in the UK, I mean Cornwall in the UK anyway, it's getting into hat and scarf weather by September. But what would you like to see? Would you like to see like hats and scarves or I wanna do these, I wanna do that's what I was gonna tell you. Last year I crocheted miniature stockings to go in a Christmas tree. And I was saying these are bookmarks. My son is obsessed with Harry Potter, which makes me so happy. Because I'm obsessed with Harry Potter, so I actually have someone in this house that agrees with me about something. Would people with children, would your children buy a bookmark? Or would you buy a bookmark for your children that was like quirkier? Because I've also done, I think it was before I pod, started podcasting, I made bookmarks. I made, I crocheted unicorn bookmarks and snakes and frogs. Would that be like, is that craft fair cool? I don't know. The problem with the school one is I'm probably going to be the only person that actually has handmade stuff. So I don't want things that are going to be crazy, not crazy expensive, but compared to what else is there. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I want to do this. I want. I want to break my anxiety about being out in, with people um, because I could be the loudest person in the room and I'm anxiety. Oh, that's what these are. Also, I bought some travel mugs. I'm all over the shop today. I do apologise. I bought some travel mugs. Hot drinks. Because I was thinking I could do like travel mug sets and do like cosies and have I don't know, like instant coffee or instant hot chocolate things and marshmallows and stuff inside them. But that might be more of a Christmas thing. I don't know. I've been watching loads of videos about craft fairs. Loads of videos. A lot of um, Zoe over at 24 Cat Crochets and Kim, who's Blue Cherub. Blue Cherub? Are you Blue Cherub? Oh, there's a number there at the end, I think. I don't know, but I'll link them down below because Kim does a lot of craft fair prep and I think she does a lot of school, like school craft fairs, which is kind of what I'm aiming for. So I've been seeing what she's been doing for the last couple of years. I don't know. Right, but seriously, people give me ideas and comment.